this shit for All right, you guys, we got a special guest, Mickey Bay in the house. Hey, Mickey, break down the fight. Tell us what you saw in the fight. Oh, man, listen, that was an excellent fight, man. It was, it was uh, two highly skilled fighters. They threw leather. They earned every penny they got. You had the young, you had the young lion against the old. Not, no, this is what I told people. Long but not old. He's an animal. Point blank, like he's a, a, a veteran. It's hard for a young guy to fight a fighter like that. You got to be super special and great to be to fight a guy like that at Devin's age. So him getting his hand raised over Lomachenko is might be the biggest accomplishment in his career for a long time. That was so impressive to get your hand raised over Lomachenko at 24 years old. Like, I mean, shit. I'm proud, I'm just proud of him. All right, what did you think of, you know, the crowd booing the results of the fight? Me, myself, I know I do media, but I'm objective. I had Devin winning the fight. Well, if you see my Blue Blood interview that I did earlier, Blue Blood, the go, homie. go watch that and you gonna see exactly what I said, that Loma, he do that pretty stuff in the ring and he get the crowd crazy. And I knew that he was gonna do that. You know, he do the little spin, the pivot, so he know he, the showmanship he try to put in, it make the crowd think that he won no matter what. And, and if you go watch that interview, and you'll see how, what I was saying. But no, Dad earned the victory. Of course, it was close. I mean, Lomachenko, you ain't gonna get out the ring with him without him getting this shit off, period, point blank. And Devin knew that, we all knew that. Um, he gonna get his shit off, it's Lomachenko, one of the greatest fighters ever, animal. Um, but yeah, Dad, to be 24, man, people need to take their hat off that he even stepped in the ring with. He didn't have to fight this cat, think about it. Yeah, so let me ask you something, Mickey. As a guy, because I like to hear from people that actually been in the damn ring. Mickey, do you think people undervalue body body shots? Because I notice people, I know the, the jab and every time a nice shot to the face, ooze the crowd, but do you think body punching is undervalued and people don't appreciate it? Because I didn't hurt motherfuckers with body shots, so I mean. Man, listen, them hurt harder than the head shots. They way harder than the head shots. So, you know, uh, I mean, he did everything he's supposed to do tonight. Listen, it ain't no, it ain't no young cats that you gonna put in no ring with no woman chain. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. The only exceptions is uh, Devin Haney and Shakur. That's it. Anybody else can't take that kind of high level fight with a dude like that. That'd be like putting a young guy in there with Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence. How you think somebody like Tank would do versus Lomachenko? Styles made fights. Um, with Loma, he one of them dudes that had that, that you know, any given night, he could beat you. Like, you know, it's, it's gonna matter what kind of night he had. Uh, Tank kind of got a good style, I think, for Lomachenko. But Devin and Shakur is Tank's hardest fights to me. I think Lomachenko is a hard, is a, is a more tailor-made fight for, uh, Tank, but Shakur and Devin, to me, them, that's the style that you gotta have to fight uh, Tank. Them huge fights, either one, like Tank versus um, Devin or Tank versus Shakur, them the ones that the Tommy Hearn or Sugar Ray Leonard type fights, them, those are contrasting style, even though Tank is a real good boxer, but he can't outbox them cats and win, so you'd be on the edge of your seats for them fights because he gonna be trying to clip Okay, hey, Mickey, I know you got to get out of here. Appreciate you talking to Town Business Sports and Entertainment.